Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion, together with Father Ted Toralba. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In this Eucharistic celebration, we continue to pray for the ongoing retreat in the Archdiocese of Manila. <clears throat> and we pray for those who are sick. We thank God for the healings. He has given for those who are sick. We grieve for those who have lost their lives. We grieve for the family, with the family who was and were unable to journey with their sick loved ones and they lost them in the hospital without seeing them. We continue to pray for those who are in the front lines people who are high risk because they are sick and yet they continue to work and for other intentions offered in this Mass. And so to prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all our hearts and united in purity of intent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus, Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I insistingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are unsecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give 
than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power of God with which you took part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdom of the earth, sing to God, chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome is his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me and guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We were gifted by God with three things. Three things that most of the time we take for granted. One of God's greatest gift is life. You are gifted with life. Without life, there's nothing to talk about. Kung hindi ka pinanganak, kung hindi ka nabuhay, walang pwedeng pag-usapan. Life is a gift. It doesn't have, it doesn't mean it will be beautiful as always, but life is a gift. Or in the very beginning, the term that defines life, it is good. It is good. Because you have life, then you have the opportunity to be happy and the opportunity to be miserable. 
It's up to you what you will do with your life. The second gift is the gift of freedom. The gift of freedom. Everyone is gifted with freedom. The freedom to make a choice. The freedom to follow God. Or the freedom even to deny and despise God. Ganun kaganda yung kalayaang ito. Ang kalayaang pinagkalob sa ina ng Diyos na merong kakakanyahan na sumunod sa Diyos o kaya hindi sumunod sa Diyos. Ipagkanulo o deny, betray the one who has given you life and freedom. That is very important. But third, that we take for granted is the gift of family or community. The gift of family or community. Where you can journey and perhaps, perhaps reach your destiny. I have said this many times that if you want to walk fast, you can walk alone. But if you want to walk further, you have to walk together. You need someone to walk with you. You can never walk further walking alone. But what is more important? To reach a destiny, you cannot walk with everybody. To reach a destiny, you have to walk with the right people. To reach a destiny, you have to walk with the right people. You want to go to heaven? Not all people want to go to heaven. You have to walk with the right people who wants to go to heaven. It's not about closeness. Sometimes it is not even about blood relationship because not everyone in your family Perhaps you have noticed this, have no intentions of going to heaven. We have to walk with the right people to reach your destiny. Now, what is the gospel trying to tell us? What is the reading trying to tell us? In this walking towards God, in this following towards God, in trying to remain and hopefully being set apart, for God. We do not grow at the same time. We do not grow at the same time. The improvement, the development is not the same. Parang pagkain yan. May mga taong konti lang ang kinain, tumataba. May mga taong ang daming kinain, di man lang tumataba. Marami siguro silang alaga. Di po ba? No? May mga taong konti lang ang kinain, ang taas ng blood sugar. Yung iba, lumamo na, wala man lang. Kanya-kanya yan eh. Hindi tayo pare-parehas. You have to accept that. We are created individually. That's why we are called individual. Individual. An individual cannot be divided. Alam nyo yun, that half a baby plus half a baby can never be one baby. We cannot be divided. Now, in this journey towards holiness, in this journey walking towards God, ano meron? The first reading says, number one, you must be humble enough to look for an overseer. You must be humble enough. Blessed are those who are part of communities where they have pastoral leaders, how do you call them? Overseers who can remind them with regard to their Christian life. Mapalad kayo na mayroong tumitingin sa inyo, nagpapaalala sa inyo, o mayroong kayo mga kaibigan 
na sabi nga mayroong malasakit na nagpapaalala sa inyo. Those who have spiritual directors, co-journeyers who would remind you of what you ought to do or what you should not be doing. It's a gift. That's the first reading is all about. Second, they are the one who journey with you in prayer. Not only in laughters, not only in thirst, in, during time of crying and weeping, but they journey with you. Being in a community, as the first reading says, it does not prevent you from weeping. Hindi yan, hindi yan, hindi ka nilagay dyan para ikaw ay sabi nga ipagsanggalang sa mga kalungkutan ng buhay. Bahagi yan. Pero mas maganda yung sa panahon ng kalungkutan, merong sabi nga ito mitingin sa iyo. And someone who oversees you, who reminds you. And it's good to us ourselves. Good to us ourselves. Have I allowed myself, myself to be accountable to someone else? Kailangan ikaw ay accountable. Kailangan ikaw ay accountable. Hindi yung ikaw ay ikaw lang ng bira ka ng bira. Ano pa? Kailangan. And see to it that you are overseer to mitingin sa iyo, nagbabantay sa iyo are not among the wolves. Mahirap yung sinabit mo ang sarili mo do sa mga taong titingin sa iyo, magpapaalala sa iyo, pero yun pala magdadala sa sa kapahamakan. So be discerning. Be discerning in the kind of community church you want to belong. Mahalaga po yun. Hindi lahat ng gustong tumulong, nakakatulong. Ang malungkot na kwento, sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic, sa dami ng nangangailangan, ang dami din nagsasamantala. Ang dami din nanloloko. Mga minamahal mga kapatid, that's why you have to be discerning with what you do and to whom perhaps you ask for opinions or suggestions. Inuulit ko, you are gifted with life and that is good. Second, you have the freedom to make a choice. Use that freedom for your good. Use that freedom for that good. Third, it is a gift to be part of a community. It is a gift to be part of a community. Treasure people who thinks what is good for you. Treasure them. They are God-given gift. When you are being set apart and put in a community where you can grow, be grateful. Be grateful to your leaders. Be grateful. Allow them to de- to discern with you, pray with you. Even in the gospel, God said that He is protecting us. He is protecting us. But protection from God is limited only, only if we allow ourselves to be accountable before God. Pahabo lang. You have to accept in this time of pandemic that depression is very real. That this time of pandemic, depression is very real. If you feel depressed, if you feel sad, if you feel alone, if you are stressed out, accept it. As Kobleros have said, never deny those feelings. Because if you keep denying them, it will bring you 
to a worst end. Seek for help. If you feel depressed, ask it. Is it pathological or psychological? Yan ba'y nararamdaman mo lang? O yan ay talagang sakit na kailangan mo ng medication? In either case, seek help. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Kahit ang ibang pari na di-depress ngayon. Seek help. That is why it is good to be part of a community where you can seek help and be guided. Again, life is a gift and it is good. Thank God for the gift of freedom to make a choice. Third, be grateful for the gift of community where you can draw strength. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work in hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work in hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you have willed to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the God who heals, the God who protects, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you with very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray the prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, 
to work generously with Him so that we might grow together in your love. And for the sake of all people, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Pag masakit ang ulo mo, masakit ang tiyan mo, meron kang problema, ibig sabihin buhay ka. Kasi kung patay ka, wala nang masakit. So, remember this, you are gifted by God life. And that life doesn't mean always easy. Remember, is cut back who said in his book, The Road Less Travel, the first line, life is always difficult. Or, life is difficult. But at least you have a life. Thank God for the gift of life. Second, you are gifted with freedom. You have the freedom to be happy, the freedom to be miserable. It's up to you. But third, keep this in mind. If you want to reach your destiny, you must walk with the right people. Choose the right one. Look for someone who can oversee you as you try to grow in holiness. Be careful. Be careful. Not all of them are really good shepherds. Some of them are wolves. An overseer prays with you, discerned with you. Ang pahabol ko kanina, do not deny if you are experiencing depression nowadays. Ang daming may problema. Ano pa? Teachers, coordinators, presidents, especially school administrator. Hay nako. Sabi ko nga, I'm happy I'm not with you in that position. Kanya-kanya tayong problema. Kanya-kanya tayong problema. Lahat may problema. Ano pa? Do not deny. Do not deny the problems you are having. Denial will not help you. As I've said yesterday, but do not worry. Because worrying will not solve your problem. Worrying will not solve your problem. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, remember this. We have a mother who helped. So don't be afraid to gaze on the face of Mary. Helps of Christ, help of Christians. And we have a God who protects 
Do not forget that. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children and of Eve. To you do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this body of tears. Turn then, most gracious, advocate your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 